We read in Parshas Kedoshim, there's a mitzvah I say, a positive commandment, Kedoshim to you, Daber lekol adas bnei Yisrael. You should speak to the entire congregation of bnei Yisrael, v'amarta aleim, Kedoshim to you. You must be holy. Ki kodosh ani Hashem elokeichem. So Rashi, based on Chazal, explains, read about the forbidden sexual relations which the Torah does not allow ancestral relations because this is something which is contrary to Kedusha and we find that one who removes himself from this area of behavior he assumes Kedusha what Kedush means separated when you're separated from this kind of behavior you have relevance to the one who's ultimately separated who's that? that's HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ki Kodesh Ani Hashem Elokeichem the Ramban, in his commentary, explains that Kedoshim Tiyu Kadesh Yisatzmah that a person has to wean himself even from things that are permitted but they're not necessities in life, material involvement, whether it's indulgence, you have to wean yourself. Because anything which plays or touches upon the desire draws a person away from Kedusha. Shlomo tells us, Tzadik ochel esoven nafsho. When a Tzadik eats, he only eats to save his soul. Only to maintain himself. More than that, he does not. Now the question is, why Tzadik ochel esoven nafsho? Why does a person eat? A person has an obligation to maintain his health. As the Ramam says, of course the only person who could have a healthy mind is a person who has a healthy body, a person's ailing to any degree due to his own level of irresponsibility, it's a distraction. Whether it's a pain, whatever it may be, but if it's a physical deficiency due that he did not address his health needs properly, he's culpable. Because in life, to be able to be fully effective, you have to be focused. There should not be distraction. So Kedoshim to you. As the Ramban explains, is Kaddish has Atzmach He explains that a person is able to be a Manuval, a person can live as a hedonist, he can have a harem of wives and conform to all the halachas. But factually, he's not living as a spiritual person. Of course, the, as a Kodesh Baruch Hu himself has no relevance to the physical. So to be able to have a relationship with him, you have to <coughs> wean yourself and remove yourself from the physical. And only then do you establish the commonality with him to be able to cleave to him. But a person who lives as a physical being, immersed, indulgent, as a hedonistic person, although it may conform to all the laws and the halochos, you have no relevance to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But you see something very interesting in terms of the order, the sequence of the Torah. Until now, we were speaking about things that were toeva, things that were abominable, dietary laws, what's permitted for you to eat, what's not permitted. So first we have to square away and establish what's not permitted. This is the Sumei Ra. As David says, Sumei Ra, first remove yourself from the Ra, from the evil, I say Tov. Because if you have the Ra simultaneously with the Tov, it becomes a problem. Because a person doesn't have a capacity to develop the good if continuously he's drawn to the negative. This is the reason. So therefore, a prerequisite to be able to ascend in spirituality, you have to have what? One has to have Kedusha, which is to wean yourself and remove yourself from the physicality. But the ultimate level of ascent is through the Torah itself. Because there, the mind, the perspective, the emotion, it's touched with Torah itself. But of course, they are prerequisites. Reish is Chochmah Yiras Hashem. The prerequisite to Chochmah is Yiras Hashem. If you go and you have that awe, which is the ultimate level of Yira, then a person has a sense. And if then, if you infuse yourself, the mind becomes imbued and focused and totally absorbed with Torah perspective through the Torah, then the person himself, not only does he live as a Kodosh,
but he actually, he processes everything within the context of Kedusha.